this is Wandering Dot again. So you probably just watched my video on my um, homemade alcohol stove setup with the collapsible caldera cone and um, Eric the Black style pot cozy. What I didn't explain in that video is that you, I never cook in the pot. I would try it sometimes, but generally stuff gets uh, really baked on and nasty. There's no adjustment. The fuel burns and it's on. That's just the way it works. So you just bring bring uh, water to a boil in here, and then I would use my little my little rag to help get the hot water out, and then put it into the pot cozy where it stays nice and warm, and put the lid with its cozy on there as well. And then you just add whatever you want to re reconstitute in there, and you're good to go. So food is the number one topic on any long distance hiking trail and I reached a food crisis in uh, in the Sierras I guess because my year 2011 was a big snow year and you just needed to eat a lot so different people like to eat different things I like to cook in the morning I really like to drink my coffee in the morning I would usually carry those Starbucks via packets and add some powdered Nido brand milk which you buy in the Hispanic section of a big grocery store. This is my favorite kind of oatmeal and I would make up little packets and snack bags with uh, salt and uh, cinnamon. That's about it usually. Uh, sometimes I would use those um, you know Quaker or organic type little individual packets but you have to eat two. But the cool thing about those is that you can actually pour the boiling water into the little paper packet and carefully stir in there and it, it's, it's fine you can do that. I usually like to add these freeze-dried fruit packets you can find this kind of thing at REI or um, like the health food store uh, so these are small packages but they have air in them which are irritating so these would usually be dumped in a small ziploc as well um, but they're tasty and they have they have a little bit of nutrients and stuff. Honestly, it's not that much, but sometimes when you're bored and you're a thousand miles into the trail, this will make your morning. You can also pop them as snacks and they, they weigh absolutely nothing. Um, here's another kind, just fruit munchies. And uh, another one, pineapple. So these are serious, tasty treats when you're, when you're out there. Um, lunch would usually just be a handheld snacks, whatever I could get. Um, I found these packets to be pretty handy. Um, these Justin's ones you can order online and they give you a good deal. Um, this Artisana brand has crazy flavors like uh, coconut chocolate butter. This one's pecan butter. Um, macadamia nut butter is insane. It's good. Put that on tortillas. Uh, bagels are really excellent treat, at least for the first few days out of town. Um, sometimes I would cook these quinoa flakes. I know it sounds totally nasty, but um, you can have it for, for breakfast, treat it like oatmeal and add fruit, honey, sugar, whatever, and nuts and fruits. You can also make a savory sort of um, like pudding by adding um, olive oil. Mom hooked me up with ordering all kinds of these small packets. Um, Dicentra also, I think, sells these or something. That's the first time I saw them was at her um, One Pan Wonders booth at the, uh, at the PCT kickoff. Um, these Marconi Organic Extra Virgin Oil Packets, every night I pop one in my dinner. It's easy. It's awesome. So we got those. Um, early on in the trail, I would eat a lot of this which I still love, I have to say. I cannot get enough of this stuff. And if possible, uh, when you're coming out of town, if you can get some, uh, some salami and cheese. This is like a nice Italian dry salami. It's compact, it's got tons of fat in it. This whole stick, 110 calories times eight servings and eight grams of fat times eight, 64 grams of fat. It's worth carrying that and maybe a nice big hunk of cheese. Um, these are from Trader Joe's, which you probably won't bump into along the trail, but you can find something similar. 
I don't recommend the shelf stable pepperoni. It tastes horrible and messes with your digestion. I have a stomach of steel and even I couldn't take it. Uh, you will see a lot of these along the trail. Taco rice is good, man. It is good. And I highly recommend adding the olive oil packet. Um, you might also want to try this, Butter Buds. They don't have a lot of calories or anything, but it tastes great. You can add it to anything and it makes it fabulous. Um, I also, for the taco rice, and they also make a Mexican rice, you can buy a dried vegetarian, you know, like fake meat type thing or chili or something. Dump a little of that in there for some protein and some texture. It really helps and it bulks out the meal as well. Um, chow mein noodles. I don't like this one. Um, I remember weird like carrots in there or something. Um, the stroganoff one is pretty decent. Again, you want to add something to this like sausage or that vegetarian meat or anything you can think of. Um, apparently this scampi one is really good. It's a new flavor. I don't, someone gave me this. I, or maybe I ate one once, but I think I'm going to give that a try today for lunch and add some of that dry salami and, and hot sauce. That's hmm, what I'm still addicted to after the trail. Um, here's another mushroom rice side. This one really gets boring after a while. Um, taco rice I never get tired of. The um, broccoli ones are good. This is a cheddar broccoli. They make it in noodle and rice. Uh, that one never really gets old either. Um, I became a huge fan of the Mountain House meals. You can buy these anywhere. They're about five bucks each. The Pro Pack is smaller and condensed like this and uh, it fits better in your pack and in your bear can. Spaghetti with meat sauce, in my opinion, totally delicious. The lasagna with meat sauce, totally delicious, addictive. Um, beef stew is good. Here's a beef teriyaki with rice. Um, I would make these little packets in little baggies like this with Parmesan cheese, unless you can swipe enough of them from like a pizza parlor. And then I dump like a whole bunch of that Parmesan cheese in there with an olive oil packet. Really easy to cook right out of the tent. Um, you know, when you're in the sleeping bag, freezing cold, it's fantastic. Um, what else? The ubiquitous ramen noodle. Um, while I think the noodles themselves are quite tasty, I'm freaked out by MSG, so I would toss the packet and um, try something like a little bit of onion dip or jalapeno dip mix. This stuff is to make bruschetta, so it's got like... Uh, onions and garlic and bell peppers and that kind of stuff in it, pretty tasty. Um, there's also some like stir fry seasoning type things which I found to be quite delicious. And then add some of the dried just veggies to it. If you're fresh out of town, sometimes I buy um, from the refrigerated section seasoned baked tofu and dice that up and put it in there or some sausage or something like that. It's pretty good. Um, Couscous, you'll be tired of before you even hit um, Central California, but it is handy and the Near East brand that comes with seasoning packets, so easy. And um, in my stove kit, how I carry the little, um, I don't know where it is, the little plastic uh, container that seals, you can reconstitute this uh, and carry it with you so that it's ready for lunch. And that's pretty nice. Um, add those dried veggies and whatever else you have to it. Um, carrying tortillas out of town is essential and rehydrating these dried uh, refried beans is actually quite delicious. Carry some uh, Taco Bell seasoning sauce things and cheese that you have with you from town and make some burritos. It's pretty awesome. If you want to get experimental or maybe you have a different kind of stove like a pocket rocket, this is the best tasting dehydrated uh, egg mix out there. It's really easy to carry. It's high in protein and fat. Um, it didn't work out very well for me with my stove because I couldn't turn the heat down. Um, and you definitely want to cook the eggs in some fat and I didn't have the olive oil. And anyways, I, it's something to try, something to try. And I did throw some of those dried veggies in there and uh, that was kind of yummy.
You can also buy this three minute pasta. I don't know how they make it or whatever, but it's designed to cook in three minutes. So you can um, buy your own like powdered cheese sauce to put in there. Um, again, the Nido dried milk to add in there. The butter buds or olive oil is good. If you're really feeling crazy when you leave town, um, you might pick up this uh, basil in a tube. That's kind of nice. Just add olive oil and this basil stuff. Um, it's kind of heavy, but you can eat it really fast and you just made a really killer pesto pasta. It's pretty excellent. Um, these Thai kitchen rice noodle things are a delicious change of pace, but they're very low in calories. You want to eat at least two of these in one sitting. Add plenty of olive oil, and uh, but they're but they're really yummy. It's a nice change of pace. Um, let's see. You can also this is um, instant rice. If you if you want to make up some packets of part instant rice and part uh, dehydrated beans together, they reconstitute the same and that works out really well. Um, I did some experiments with sprouted sprouted lentils and sprouted mung beans and had it pre-mixed with couscous. And uh, if you add enough seasoning and fat, it's quite good, but the problem is when you mix it together, the couscous rehydrates quickly and takes all the water and the lentils don't get enough, so they're crunchy and not delicious. So that's something I learned. Um, some other packets, this is some tortilla soup mix that I got from a discount place like Building 21 or whatever it's called. Um, I didn't actually really like this powdered soup. Uh, the ones that you get that are actually chunky from the health food store, like Whole Foods in bulk, they have split pea, corn chowder, they have a curried lentil, that's all I can think of. Those are quite good, but again you need to add fat to all of those things. On rare occasion, in coming out of a town for the first night for dinner, um, I'll make some of that instant rice or couscous. And um, this is a tuna in red curry sauce from Trader Joe's. It's ready to go in a foil packet. You can boil water and heat up the packet like that. Or, um, well, that's the, the cleanest way to do it. Or you can just dump it in your, in your pot. Some Indian food meals, uh, Madras lentils, and uh, palak paneer. These are heavy, you know, they've got liquid in them. It's not the kind of thing I would ordinarily carry, but um, occasionally, and just for your first night out of town, maybe you're only hiking 10 miles, it's really no big deal to carry a couple of extra ounces, and you'll make everyone around you totally jealous. Uh, so that's all I got for um, food. Oh no, there's some more. Packets, packets, packets. Um, when you make your sandwiches with cheese and tortillas, and whatever else you have. Maybe you'll smuggle out a um, bell pepper or something. These ranch packets, um, you can buy them online. Um, shoot. There's a company that sells little little packets. I'm sure you can Google for it. Balls would know. Anyways, there's so many calories and fat in here. 26 calories of fat in this thing. And it weighs 1.5 ounces. It's genius. I mean, you could just make rice and dump this on it. You know, you'd be all set. Mayonnaise packets, another great way to get um, some calories and some fat. I'm ordinarily totally grossed out by mayonnaise, but 2,600 miles and you're way into mayonnaise. Um, and you can add it to almost anything and it's great. Um, it's almost a butter or oil substitute. These salt and pepper packets, um, I would add a few to every one of my drop boxes. Um, so those are really handy. Um, Carrying some of those little camping salt pepper shakers are annoying and you'll invariably open the wrong end and all that stuff. Um, some of these sugar packets, I don't really like sugar, but um, sometimes I would put that in my tea or something if I happen to be carrying some. These jelly packets turned out to be a really amazing treat and uh, you will need some amazing treats when you're in the Sierras. I almost wanted to quit because I was so tired of the food and tired of having to eat so much of it. This is lemon juice. Um, you can add that to some lentil-based things if you want to get experimental with that. Um, that's pretty much all I've, all I've got. Soy sauce packets. 
those things are all handy. The hot sauce is really key. Salt and pepper and hot sauce and the olive oil packets and the butter buds were key to making all of uh, my dinner meals delicious. There you go. Hope that helps. <laughs>